Taliban took over Kabul, India has stepped up engagement with Afghanistan, maintaining that New Delhi has only humanitarian motivations and no geopolitical agenda in doing so. To date, India has not recognized the Taliban regime. However, while delivering aid to Kabul, India has kept a low profile. New Delhi has maintained a balance, so the assistance does not send a signal that it wants to engage with the Taliban regime as the legitimate ruler of Afghanistan. Well, look, uh, I think uh, uh, the, I mean, I mean, first of all, while you use the word investment, I mean, for us, it reflected what was a historical relationship with the Afghan people. Uh, I think that relationship with the Afghan people obviously continues and uh, that will guide our uh, approach to Afghanistan uh, in the coming days. In strategic affairs, every crisis presents itself as an opportunity. It depends on the willingness of a nation's foreign and security policy establishments to leverage the possibilities in such situations. With Pakistan and China working overtime to back the Taliban, dealing with Taliban-ruled Afghanistan has been one of the most important diplomatic challenges the world has faced recently. And the situation of India is no different. The one major point to be highlighted is India has been battling for the formation of a truly inclusive government in Kabul. Besides insisting that Afghan soil must not be used for any terrorist activities against any country. As Afghanistan's neighbor, we were privileged to preside over the adoption of a substantial and forward-looking product of the Council on Afghanistan. It has underlined that Afghan territory should not be used to threaten or attack any country or to shelter or train terrorists or to plan or to finance terrorist acts. But let's revisit India's engagement with Afghanistan before Taliban's takeover. India and Afghanistan have historic and strong bilateral ties and are part of regional level partnerships like the SARC. According to the MEA, friendly relations can be traced back to January 1950 when a five-year treaty of friendship was signed by then Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru, and then Afghan ambassador to India, Mohammad Najibullah. However, India was the only South Asian country to recognize the Soviet-backed Democratic Republic of Afghanistan in the 1980s. As a non-permanent member of the UNSC, India backed resolutions to ensure that the Taliban-led government in Kabul was denied membership of the UN in view of Taliban support to terrorist groups like the Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Geostrategic realities have not allowed India or the Taliban to stay away from each other. When Taliban took over Afghanistan in 2021, India shut operations at its embassy, stating that the situation was too risky to operate the embassy after the fall of Kabul. Besides fear of attacks and rigid laws, Taliban's close relationship with Pakistan was another key driving factor in India's decision. Pakistan ke role ya bahar ke kisi bhi country ya jis tarah se koi negative role usme agar le kar rahe hain, usme to hum usko to charcha kar hi rahe hain aur baaki logon se bhi isi is vishe pe. I can say ki world mein sabko malum hai ki kis tarah ka role ho raha hai aur kis tarah ke concerns unke hain ki Pakistan ki taraf se. Um, jihadi element keh lijiye, atanki element, jo udhar Afghanistan mein kya kar chuke hain. Is pe apuriya dunia, puri dunia janti hai. Uh, hume batani ki itna ro to nahi hai. However, as the crisis between India and Taliban-led government expanded, the Chinese media pushed China-Pakistan-Taliban troika agenda under BRI. During this time, Taliban saw a clear geopolitical division among China and Pakistan on one side and India on the other hand on Afghanistan's future. Notably, ties between Taliban and Pakistan soured in recent months. 
Series of Pakistan military air raids have fueled heavy tension between Islamabad and Kabul. Islamabad claimed that Afghanistan's militant groups are carrying out regular attacks from Afghan soil. In the beginning, Pakistan took Taliban's victory as a geopolitical advantage. But now, the country is facing huge militant threats. Critically, amid this war of words, India has the upper hand to make it clear that New Delhi does not seek proxy conflict with Pakistan. The Taliban have recently expressed their admiration for economic assistance that India has provided to Afghanistan. With the dual purpose of having a diplomatic presence on the ground, India is also working out ways to utilize the Chabahar port in a subtle rebuke of China's Belt and Road Initiative. With a distinguished geopolitical location, Chabahar port makes it attractive from both domestic and international perspective. There is a great significance of the Chabahar port for war-torn Afghanistan as well. The main points of attraction in the Chabahar port lie in its direct ocean access and geographic proximity to Afghanistan, Dubai, India and Pakistan. The only answer to China's growing dominance in the region is a strong, self-reliant India. New Delhi has played an active role in the nation's rebuilding process over the last two decades. It is now in India's interest to advocate for protecting the ties and continue investments so that any future political settlement is durable. Amid the bonhomie between India and Taliban-like government, only time will tell if New Delhi wants an affair with Kabul or a serious relationship.